What is up? Matthew Demore here with another Space Drum track review. Today we're going to be listening to the new Rel the Soundbender EP titled Diablo. Rel the Soundbender, pretty self explanatory name. He really does make some very, very interesting sound design, bass music. I first became familiar with him when he released a couple of Elsa tracks about a year or two ago. And I've just been following him ever since, keeping an eye on him. And he's been really upping his game with every release. And today we have his debut EP. It's five songs. We got a collaboration with DJ Slink. We got a collaboration with et cetera, et cetera and a whole slew of other guys that I haven't heard yet and I'm very excited to check out. So let's get right to it. Brother Soundbender, Diablo EP, let's go. Please, please. First song is Diablo House with Bitch Be Cool. All my roommates up so I can actually kind of blast this. <laughs> All right, I can already feel this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm checking out Bitch Be Cool. This is so nice. Solid, solid, solid. This is a banger. I could see a lot of big DJs fucking with this song. Like late, like has laid back Luke listened to this? Has Afrojack listened to this? Very solid house joint. Very fun. Very catchy. Solid drums. Really just pure hype. Great way to start the EP. The next song is Bamba featuring Kaku, but on production side we also have DJ Slink, who is another newer producer that. I'm just keeping an eye on all the time, so very excited for this one. I haven't heard D DJ Slank on a big room version of his sound yet. Sort of like what 4B does with um, with weapons on revealed recordings. Oh, this sounds like something to be unrevealed so much. Wow. They don't call him the sound better for nothing. Ooh, fuck it up. <laughs> oh, I love the Jungle Terror breakdown. This is good. Oh, I can already hear the New Jersey bounce drop coming. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Not expect this at all either. Big sound. I was a big fan of that second drop. The more New Jersey bouncy styles of the drop. I'm always interested to see how those do. How people like those. Really big sound. I hope Hardwell gets to listen to that song. Next song is Baja featuring Raw Tech. Delvin didn't pronounce the title right of the song, right? <laughs> Not expected, A. Love the percussion. Ooh, the brakes coming in. Send this to A-Track, he'd love this. I usually don't call out the bigger DJs and tell them to listen to these songs, but these are lining up. <laughs> oh, it's still going. That track goes. You can play that at any point in a set, and it'll get people moving. There's maybe too much drums? Maybe could have cut the drums one more time. It just seemed a little too here, and the drop was like here. Maybe you know the energy level could go down a little bit to make it a little bit more dynamic of a song. But very interesting. I loved the percussive bass on it. 
Very cool. Next song is Lobos featuring etc cetera, etc. Cetera. This song for GBPM? Oh, that's what I need right there, that Moomba tone. There it is. Oh shit. That was perfect. Great transition. Woo! Yes. I love the switching between the dubstep rhythm kind of stuff with the Moomba tone. Really what I like about etc etc a lot is him moving between those two subgenres. Definitely recommend this to all the headbangers, neck breakers, and rail riders. Very crazy track. Last song is Heat featuring Blank and Kaku. Oh, pretty track, let's go. Or it won't be. It'll be super dark on the drop. All right. That melody is a little too simple. Like it lacked a little depth to it. Let's hear this drop is called Heat. <laughs> Double drop. Double drop. <laughs> oh my god. Nice chops. All right, that would that might have been my favorite drop of the whole EP. See, this ARP is a little too basic. With just some violins under it, it barely gets the job done. And I understand you have the sound better, not the melody maker, chord breaker. Just kind of flat, kind of boring. Love this. It reminds me of some Eptic song. I'm trying to think of it though. And this reminds me of Herobus. But, you know, Rel's the sound benderified. Very cool, very cool. Sweet assorting of different subgenres. Crazy sounds, crazy collabs. That's really how I'd describe the Diablo EP. You're not gonna be getting much melody or anything like that, but you're gonna be getting some really crazy sounds. Some that are ready, you know, for you to go in the gym, in the car, to down downtown to a party, and other ones only for the most bonkers, craziest festivals, which might be in your downtown if you live in Miami, but not me. <laughs> I'm gonna be adding the Diablo House song, I'm gonna be definitely adding the DJ Slink song. What do you guys think of the album? Comment below if you liked it. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been the Rel the Soundbender Diablo first reaction. I'll see you guys next time. Yes! Oh my! Remix.